Hey Pete, it's Erin with Duff Digital Marketing again. I am so sorry that it was the incorrect Thompson Auto detailing in the previous video, but I am so glad that you did reach out so we could redo the video for you. Um, and a lot of the information is gonna be the same, but we of course want it to be accurate and we want to show you your um, area competitors. So without further ado, we will get started. The three things we'll talk about will be content, citations, and backlinks. And I know that you said there isn't a website for you all at this time. Um, so in the interest of speaking about content, I did pull up one of the competitor sites here and content is going to be considered anything you can see. It includes the words, but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see 1500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1500 words, that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services. So I don't know if it's something that you all have thought about, or maybe it's something that's already in the works for you all. Um, but if not, I would definitely suggest getting a website. Not only does it serve as a digital business card for you, but it really is the first step in getting ranked on Google. Um, and like I said, you know, usually um, when people come across your Facebook, that's a great tool to use. And a lot of people will just go to Facebook to look for things. But the majority of people are going to go to Google before they go anywhere else. So we want you to be found um, in all of these places because that just really puts you in front of more people. But we'll go back to the search results here and we will go over the next thing, which is citations. And citations have a lot to do with this top section here. And this is called the map pack. And a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, which you have, which is great, Yelp, Yellow Pages, LinkedIn, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those kinds of details. So you would wanna check out where your competition is being listed and you wanna get those listings for your business. But then you want to go a step further and double, triple, quadruple where your business is found. So for instance, if your top competitor has let's say 10 directory listings, you wanna get those same 10 and then you wanna add another 20, 30, 40 that's gonna have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the map section here. So moving along to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that a backlink works is there is a website out there that has a link to your site, and it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that uh, you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to your site if and when you decide to get one. And what that's going to do is not a whole lot for you because that link is going to be all about ice cream, which has nothing to do with what you're doing. So you would wanna get links from other car detailing companies. They'll send something back to your site and that is going to signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful, but also more unique in Google's eyes. And this is one of the tools that I use, just so I can give you a visual representation of everything. So this is the website we just looked at and it's showing that site currently has 58 referring domains, which is giving them 247 backlinks, getting them found for 568 keywords. And all of that is driving about 208 people to that website and that's just monthly. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using here and hopefully I'll be able to give you some good examples. So all of this is just them ranking for their business name, which is not surprising. Let's see what else they've got here. And I know that they're doing some other things aside from car detailing, so they're gonna have some keywords um, for those other things as well, but we'll just use them as examples. So uh, oil change, sulfur, IA. So that would be a good one, or excuse me, LA. That would be a good one because it's listing the service or industry, but it's also listing a specific location that the company itself is trying to target. And you can target multiple different locations. You just wanna make sure that wherever you decide to target is within your service area. That way, when someone is searching for car detailing and your name pops up, they, they can still use you because you're close enough to them. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, car wash, Lake Charles, LA. So that would be another good one because again, it has those two components, the service or industry, and then that specific location. 
So I will not bore you and have us go through all of these, but I do hope it at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things that you would want to integrate into content. Again, if and when you do decide to get a website. But truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as I spoke about earlier, also making sure that you're always adding on to that too. That way you're far surpassing your competitors, and that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. But that is all that I have for you all today. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Dup Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. And thank you again for being so gracious with that mix up. I truly apologize. Uh, but if there's anything else that we can assist you with or any questions that you have, please don't ever hesitate to reach out to us. And I hope that you all have a fantastic rest of your day.